So you're looking to write amazing ad copy inside Google ads so you can start getting clicks, conversions, and most importantly, sales. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you our three part method to write amazing ad copy so that people choose to click your ad over the competition. Now I'm going to structure this video into four different parts. The first three being our method because it's a three part method and the fourth part, which are some important things that you should take into consideration when writing ads just so you can have even better results than just ad copy alone. But that's how this video is going to go today. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so starting off our very first part of our ad copywriting method is to identify the problem. And a lot of people when they start writing ads, they have nowhere to start. I like following this method, it produces excellent results. And that's why we use it. It's just it's simple, it's easy, and it produces excellent results. And the first part of this method is going to be, like I said, identify the problem. And so many people overlook this when first starting off. They think like, well, should we use our company name? Should we just try to target everyone? And in advertising, there is a saying that if you target everyone, you target no one. And this is because if you go so wide and you cast your net so wide, it doesn't really resonate with anyone. And what we want to do is identify the person's problem that they have. So this could be as simple as just putting the keyword in that they are targeting. So if you're targeting the keyword local moving company, you could have an ad that says local moving company as your very first headline, super simple, or it could be looking for a local moving company. Now I know this sounds very easy, simple, and it's like, yeah, duh. But what happens is Google identifies that this is the most relevant thing to your customer. And when the customer sees exactly what they typed in or something very, very close, they're more likely to pick you over your competition. And this is because your headline is more relevant to them. And again, super simple, super easy to implement, but people go, ah, no, I'll do something fancy. I'll do like complicated language. And this is wrong. You shouldn't do this because this is not going to resonate with the customer. What I see a lot of people do is they'll put something very vague. So say you're doing pools, they'll just have pools as a headline or pool services. That's not detailed enough. And it's not going to be very relevant to the customer. What you should put instead, if someone searched for fiberglass pool installation near me, you should have a headline that says looking for fiberglass pool installation or something very similar to that instead of just pools. And I think you're starting to get my idea here, which is keep it as relevant to the customer as possible. The more relevant we can make this, the more likely that they are to see our ad and resonate with it. If you have something super vague like pools or moving company, this doesn't resonate as well with them and they're less likely to click on it. And also Google is less likely to show it. And this is because your click through rate is going to lower because people aren't clicking on it. You're going to get a lower quality score. So you're going to have to pay more per click. And really it's just a bad cycle. You really need to make sure your keywords are somewhere in your ad. And I, again, I know this seems simple and it should be, you know, Oh, everyone should do this. Most people will not put the keyword they're targeting in their ad copy. It takes too much time for them and they'll just put a whole bunch of keywords, one vague ad. And then when they get poor results, they blame Google ads and they say, ah, oh, the platform's just bad. No, you just wrote the ad copy wrong. So that's part one of our method, identify the problem. And like I said, there's tons of ways to put this, but figure out a way to implement the keyword that they are typing into your ad copy. Your results will skyrocket if you do this properly. Now, if you don't feel like writing any of these ads, we've actually created a product to solve that issue. It's called the Google ads done for you bundle. It comes with headlines, descriptions, extensions, negatives, everything you need. You can just plug and play. This will save you a whole bunch of time inside Google ads. So you don't have to really come up with stuff from scratch. It comes with a whole bunch of like templated headlines. So you can really just include whatever service you're doing and it should save you a whole bunch of time inside Google ads. And I really like it. I think a lot of people who don't have the time to actually write Google ads, this way you can actually get 15 out of 15 headlines, four to four descriptions, three to three ads relatively quickly. And you're going to see so much more success if you actually choose to write out all these ads, as opposed to just putting, you know, one ad in with one or two headlines, that's going to really reduce Google's AI's ability to test things and come up with the best headline and description combo. So if you don't want to do any of that work, we have the done for you bundle. The link for this will be down below. It is a lifesaver for us and it really saves a whole bunch of time. So we don't have to come up with everything from scratch. Yes, you do have to customize it, but it will save you a whole bunch of time. So if you're interested in that, the link for that is down below. The second part of our ad copy method is to give the user reasons to buy. Why should they pick you over the competition? You've identified their problem. They're like, okay, I'll listen to what you have to say. You clearly know what my problem is and I'll listen to you. Why should I pick you over the competition? Now, this could be a whole bunch of different reasons. And really, every industry is different on what people are going to look at when it comes to buying. Maybe they're more concerned with reviews and testimonials. Maybe they're more concerned with what you have to offer and, and maybe finished products. So if you've done pool and 
cancellation, maybe they want to see a whole bunch of pictures of pools you've actually finished and completed and what they look like. Maybe it's more about the actual offer itself, your warranty, your guarantee, how long the process will take. Whatever it is, this will take some time to actually A B test and start figuring out. But luckily enough, Google allows you to put a whole bunch of headlines in so you can test this very quickly, which is very nice. And headlines could be anywhere from, you know, 30 day warranty to two year warranty, uh, you know, award winning, certified, insured. These are all reasons to buy, you know, hundreds of happy customers, tons of testimonials. All these could be written up as headlines. Yeah, you may have to tweak a little bit, but these are great reasons as to why they should pick you over the competition. What a lot of companies do is they put something very vague and they just say, pick us or, you know, we have pools. It's like, yeah, we know you have pools. Why should I pick you over the competition? And if you can give the individual on the other side of the screen a reason to actually pick you, that makes sense in their brain. They're going to be so much more likely to click you over the competition. Your cost per click is going to go down because your click through rate is going to go up and you're going to have a lot more success inside Google ads. Now, the third and final part of our ad copy method is to provide a call to action. So you've identified their reason to buy what they're looking for. You've given them reasons to pick you what happens next. And so many people just don't add a call to action. They just have pool company, you know, we have pools and these ads are really, really bad. And I, I see them very often. I'm like, how are you still running ads? Your costs would be crazy because your quality score would be so low. And what we want to do is actually add a call to action at the end of it. So after they read our ad, we want to tell them where we want them to go and what we want them to do and what they can expect from us. So it could be as easy as get a free quote now or call us now for a free quote, book your assessment today, something like this that gives them an understanding of what's going to happen after they click this ad. And that's very important because we want to make sure the buying process is as simple and easy for them as possible. The more complicated and extended this buying process is, the less likely they are to make it through. That's why with forms, we don't add 47 different fields for them to fill out. We add one or two name, email, maybe phone number. We don't add 37 different other ones because most people are just not going to take the time. We want this simple and short. And this goes the same with ad copy and a landing page. Keep it simple, keep it short and give them a call to action on what they can expect next. We don't want to create any mental stress. We want them to know exactly what is going to happen when they click this button. They're going to get a call. They're going to get a free assessment. They're going to, you know, get an email from us, make it quick and to the point and make it easy to understand. When you do this, people are going to go, yep, yeah, this is what I want. These people know how to solve my problem. And this will make your ad look way better than the competition. Now, I do have a few important things to note about ad copy and ads in general that I think you should understand before actually creating your ads or if you're going to change them up now just keep that in mind hold on one for one second before clicking away from this video these three things are very important the first thing i want you to know is that all ad copy needs to be tested even back in the early 1900s when they were sending direct mail out so they were actually mailing pieces of paper out to people they would a b test that and yes it may take a thousand pieces of paper to actually verify but what they would do is they'd find the highest converting the one that gets the most phone calls and then they would run with that google makes this very simple but even your first few ads, they may not do very well. And what you'll need to do is actually go in there, pause them and create new ads to try and beat the current champion ad, which is the one that's performing the best. That way you can increase your click through rate, which in turn increases your quality score. So you can get a lower cost per click, more clicks leads to more leads, and you're going to have more account success and more sales overall. So that's something important to keep in mind. Please A-B test these ads. The next important thing I want you to know is please use all of your headlines and descriptions. So many people do not use 50 15 out of 15 headlines or four out of four descriptions. And this really prevents Google from A-B testing anything. And what happens is Google has this amazing AI and it can test all this stuff to see which ad is the absolute best. But if you don't give it the data to actually test with, you're really limiting its ability to figure out the best headline and description combination. So please make sure to fill out all of these headlines and descriptions. Yes, I do know it takes time, but you can use the done for you bundle. That'll save you a whole bunch of time if you don't want to write any of these out. But if you actually do take the time to write these out, your ads are going to be so much better than your competition. And I would say 80% of people inside Google ads just do not take the time to one, write out all of the headlines and descriptions and two, use three out of three ads, which is another important thing I should mention, please use all the ads that you can use. You're allowed three responsive search ads in every single ad group. Most people will write one. So please use three, give Google as much data to test with as possible. Your results will dramatically increase if you can do this. So please give Google all the available information you can. This will allow you to achieve so much more success inside Google ads. Uh, it is something that is so commonly overlooked. And I really think a lot of people just don't want to take the time. So please 
take the time. It will help you out and make your life so much better. The final important note I wanted to make before we leave this video is please make sure your keywords actually match the ads. Make sure they're actually in the ads somewhere. So if you're doing local moving company, make sure that's a headline. If you're doing fiberglass pool installation, make sure that's a headline. If you're doing local HVAC services, make sure that's a headline somewhere. This helps with quality score to click through rate. I know I said this at the beginning in the identify the problem stage, but this is super important. And so many people overlook this. This will dramatically increase your click through rate and tell Google that your ads are way more relevant than the competition. You'll have a higher quality score and you'll see a whole bunch more success. So please make sure to include that. Now I do have one giant favor to ask you, and that is to hit the like button. Our channel has seen dramatic growth from you guys actually hitting the like button. I was shocked by how many of you actually chose to hit it. And it's just amazing to see the growth and the amount of new views and the new subscribers coming through just from you guys actually hitting the like button. So if you do choose to hit the like button, I put so much time and effort into creating these videos. It's unreal, but I really do enjoy doing it. So if you do choose to hit the like button, thank you in advance. Now, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer it. On that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.